Yeah, shalom, brother. So I hear that the brother asked you a question as far as, um, you know, how are your conditions in, in this country, right? Did you ever ask yourself, how do we get in this predicament in the first place? Why are all the other nations, the white man, the Chinese, the Japanese, why are all these other nations prospering around the world, but our people are subject to poverty? Okay, being locked up in jails and prison systems. I mean, that's a question we all been trying to figure out. Right, so what we're trying to tell you that all these answers are contained in the whole Bible. Right? So that's why we're here to tell you that what? That's your history. Because if I ask you right now, what's your identity? What's your nationality? What would you tell me? I'll tell you I'm black. You're black. Yes. So now, it's not black in color? Like, if you ask me, you see a Chinese, you say, well, what's your nationality? They're not going to say, well, I'm yellow. Right? They're gonna say I'm Chinese, right? So give me, give me Hosea four verse six. Giving no praise to Yahweh by Shimei Alshai was mercy to do it forever. Give me Hosea four verse six. So you saying the white don't go by color? I'm sorry. The white don't go by color. The white man. What do you mean? They don't like, like you said with the Chinese, for example. They don't say I'm yellow. The white man doesn't say. He's well, he says I'm white, but he he's just like we were miseducated. All right. They were miseducated as well, right? But it doesn't matter to them because why? Because if you have white privilege, it doesn't matter if you're dumb or smart, you still have that white privilege. You understand? Read that. This is the book of Hosea, chapter four, verse six. Come on. My people. My what? My people. So what type of word is my, and why? What type of word is that? If I said these are my shoes, what does that mean? Belongs to you. Ownership, right? Belongs to you, right? Read that again. My people are destroyed. They're what? Are destroyed. So the Lord said his people through the prophet Hosea said, my people what? Are destroyed. They are destroyed. How are we destroyed? The Just read it again. Read it again. My people are destroyed. Come on. For lack of knowledge. For what? For, For lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. Right, because I just asked you, what was your nationality? You said you're black. So if I were to line up 10 so-called black men and ask each and every one of them, what's your nationality? Nine times out of 10, I would get what? A different answer, right? That could be true. We're reading it. Why? Why is that? Read that again. Book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because now, if you don't know your past, how are you going to know your future? If you don't know where you came from, how are you going to know where you're going? So what we're trying to tell you is that what? That your true identity is recorded in the Holy Bible. That all nations of the earth have an identity, have a true culture, except the people that you see on that side. You guys don't have a different Bible? The same Bible? There's no trick Bible. Same Bible that they have in the churches. Just right? Just the same Bible they have in the churches. Give me, give me Isaiah 34 verse 16. Right, because you never heard the Bible taught like this before, right? Because... Because in the last days, the Most High will send forth his true sermons to give you understanding of how this Bible should be interpreted. Okay? So before we... Do you read the Bible? Not recently. Not recently. So when you, when you read the Bible, what did the Most High God do before he destroyed every wicked kingdom? What did he do? What did he do prior to that? With the flood. No, what did he do before he allowed that to happen? Like when he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, what was her, when, he, when the flood came, what did he do? He, he, uh, he let them know. How did he let them know? Did he speak to them himself? How does the Most High warn you? That's a good question. Was it that? Oh, he warned you through his prophets. Uh, you understand? So we, are, when you look around here, we are the same ones that the Most High said. So but someone he came day. to him and told him that. No, the Most High uses prophets to forewarn that generation about what's upon the what's going to come upon that kingdom. So we are out those we are out here signing crying, okay, out here in the streets trying to gather as many people as we can to let them know that what that America is going to be destroyed, right? And before it's destroyed, we are trying to save those who want to come out of the ways of this wicked kingdom. Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Come on. Seek ye out the book of the Lord. Do what? Seek ye out the book of the Lord. Seek ye out the book of the Lord. What is the book of the Lord? The word of the Lord. The word of the Most High, right? The yeah. Bible, best instructions before leaving earth. Read that again. Seek ye out the book of the Lord. 
And we. And what? And we. So they said, if you want to hide anything from a black man, where do you put it? In a book. Why? Because we don't read. We might look at a, like you, somebody come up and say that what? That the Bible's a white man's book, right? They haven't read it. But now when you go into the Bible, you see there's many uh, scriptures alluding to the fact that Christ himself was a so-called black man. Right? The disciples were called uh, niggas in the Bible. Oh, yeah. So these things can be can be found, but you have to do what? Read it again. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. If you're not reading, you're not going to find this information out. Okay? So this is the world's best kept secret. Right? Give me give me Job 30 30. You give me give me Acts. Oh, you got Job 30 30? You give me Acts Liger. Like 12. So now, out of the millions of billions of, of Israelite men that are in the world, the most high sought fit for you to hear his word today. Because this is this is not even our, our regular teaching spot. This is a new spot. So now the most high deemed that you are worthy enough to hear this word that hopefully this will save your life in the, in the time to come. What you got? I thank you. Job chapter 30 and I verse 30. My skin is oh, what? My skin is black upon me. So now it says, My skin is black upon me. So it's giving you color. They say, Well, there's no color in the Bible, there's color all throughout the Bible. What you got in Acts? This is the book of Acts, 13, verse 1. Huh? Now there were in the church that was in Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon. Come on. That was called. Read it again. That was called. It's Niger. Spell it. N I G E R. So now what they did later on, they just added another G. Right. Okay, but we know that Niger means what? It means black. Give me uh, Matthew 10 and 5. You give me Revelation. Um, one and one, and jump down to twelve. I thank y'all for the information. I'm gonna keep moving, my brother. Where you going, brother? Give me, give me a few more minutes. <laughs> I gotta go. Where you gotta go? I gotta go. Where's more important than getting the knowledge of the Most High? Right, right. Uh, because now you're leaving here, right? Yeah. You're leaving here right now. What's your nationality? Haitian. That's my blood line. So you jump from black to now you're Haitian. So now we're, we're in you the said, Bible. You what's my nationality? Which, you you asked me what's my nationality. But first you said black. Yeah, you asked me if I would, if you came to me and asked me what I am, I said right. I would so, tell so you So now you, you stepped up now, right? But now <laughs> Haitian is wrong too. Because where in the Bible do you see the word Haitian? Right, right, right. Okay. He said, I, he said I, I improved now. I'm not black anymore. I'm Haitian. Nah, that was a different question. Huh? You tricked me on that one. <laughs> so now, what's your nationality? What am I supposed to say? Black? I'm not saying that. But brother, what I'm trying, how old are you? 33. You're 33. Yeah. So now, at the age of 33, you are walking around as a 33-year-old man not knowing who you are as a man. Say that. Okay. So now, this is something that a lot of our, our brothers and sisters are lacking this information. So it is important for you, because the so-called white man that calls himself a Jew, he took it upon himself to steal our identity and call himself Jewish. Because why? We, we don't see the importance of knowing our true identity. Read that. No, give me that, um... Yeah, you can get that. And then give me, um... They forsake them, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Read that. And thou, even thyself. Read that again. And thou, even thyself. And thou, even thyself. Come on. Shall discontinue. Shall what? Shall discontinue. What does it mean to discontinue? It stop means to stop, right? right? Read that again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. From thy what? From thine from heritage. From your true heritage. That what? That I gave thee. That the Most High Power gave us. So we don't call ourselves Hebrew Israelite. You don't call yourself tribe of Levi, according to you call yourself Haitian. Because why? Read that again. 
and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from the heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. And, and then what? And I will call thee to serve thine enemies. So Moses said he will cause us to serve our enemies. Did you ever ask yourself, why did why do our people go into slavery? Why do they have movies like Roots, Mandingo, Five Years of the Slave? Why do they have, have movies like Five Years of the Slave for the Caucasian and the Chinese? Why is it only our people? That's a good question. That's a good question. So we have the answers. Give me Deuteronomy 1 verse 1. And you give me Deuteronomy 28 and um, no, 15. Go. Brother, you're asking these questions, <laughs> but you. That was a good question. But what's your nationality? What's your nationality? At least, there, number, there at least tell again. me who you are. There you go again with that. <laughs> at least let me know who you are. You're a black Asian. Yeah. <laughs> this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. <laughs> exactly. These be the words you which can, Moses bro. spake unto all Israel. Read that again. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses speaking to the children of Israel, who you are. You are the tribe of Levi. Of the nation of Israel, that's your true identity. That's right. Okay. So you're saying that's not the way they? Okay. I said I'm Haitian, right? What? They call themselves Levi. Was not not they way of saying it back then? No. Haitian comes. With, what does Haitian mean? It means what? Land of hell or something like that? I don't know what it means. Right. So how could you call yourself? You don't know what it means. Suppose it means monkey or something. He said I'm Haitian. What? Okay. What, you understand what I'm saying? That's like saying the Americans. If I would have called myself American, what does right. that mean? Well, what I'm trying to say, brother, any one of those is incorrect. You call yourself American, Haitian. These were names given to us by our slave master. Bring it out. Okay. Okay. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 36. I can accept that. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 36. I can accept that. I get that part. Now, why would we want to be called by something other than what we are according to the Bible? Other than what the Most High God gave us in this Bible. Okay. We're so used to being given a name by oppressor, they call us colored, they call us black, they call us, um, what do they call, Asiatic? Afro-American. Afro-American, Africans, they name them after a hairstyle. Give what you got. This book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 36. Well, as the Lord shall bring thee, sorry. 37. 37. 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Do that again. And thou shalt become a proverb, is an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. So it said a proverb and a byword. That's why you call yourself Haitian, you call yourself black, you call yourself Asiatic, you call yourself Rasta Wad, because we, it is prophesied that this will be labels that be put upon us as a people. That we wouldn't have our true identity. Right. You gotta understand? So what's your nationality? <laughs> There you go again with that. What do I say? Do so, I say I, I, I'm I just told you. I said you're the tribe of... Huh? I'm really trying to figure that out. How did, your, how, how did, you, how did your ancestors get, get to Haiti? How did they get to America? How did that, they get to... That's a good question. That's a good question? I would, they, oh my God. Would they get there on American Airlines? <laughs> Jet Blue? How did they get there? Uh, hey, by the, by the look of this, you know what you say my ancestors? I guess they drag them there. They pulled them there. By ships, right? Now, what if, I was gonna, what if I was to tell you that that was prophesied in the Holy Bible that we would go into slavery by way of cargo slave ships? Give me Deuteronomy 20 and 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Oh, put that phone on. That ain't going to help you. <laughs> listen, to the, listen to the word of the Most High. Okay. You're here for a reason. Put that away. Read that. Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28, verse 68. Moves, and the Lord shall bring thee into pocket. Egypt again. With ships. You see, our, our people think they're doing, you know, you're making moves, you know, our people, you're making moves in a circle. Okay? You're going around in a circle back to the same position. Why? Because again, we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. How did the so-called black man get to America? With, with ships. ships. Read it again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So why does it say again, brother? How did Israel get into ancient Egypt? It wasn't by ship, it was by foot. But it says again, meaning a second time, that Egypt represents what? It represents bondage, slavery. So he said we were going, we were going to go into slavery again, but this time would be by cargo slave ships. Okay? We are the only nation recorded in history 
that went into slavery by way of cargo slave ships. Right. No other nation. But they told us that what? They told us that we were African. We are not African. The word, where did the word Africa come from? It came from Leo Skipper's Africanus, who was a white European sailor. So it's no way that we could be African. Read that again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold. You shall be sold. You shall be what? You shall be sold. And you shall be sold. Come on. Unto your enemy. Unto your what? Unto your enemy. Unto your who? Unto your enemy. A lot of people say, well, those guys are teaching hate. But the Bible just said that we will be sold unto our enemies. So when we when we were on the auction blocks, who were the people that were bidding on us when we'd be sold to slavery? What people? Who were they? Who would they be called today? The so-called white men, the Caucasian, right? Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see it no more again. Come on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Bond men, a male slave and a female slave. Come on. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. That's an old Quaker term meaning that like what? No man's going to save you. Did you hear about what happened in Texas when they, when they had those um, those troopers that were running after the Haitian people on horses? Did you hear about that? Yeah, right. Give me that, give me that paper right here. Um, look, look down here. They have like their own horses, right? Yeah, and they, they, they're, 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 how about people dying? Do you have this scripture for me? I saw a service that said, Jesus asked this. Jesus asked this 10 and 7. Get that. Jesus asked this 10 and 7. Let me yes, show you how everything is prophetic. And verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses. I have seen what? I have seen servants upon horses. So who do you see on the horse right here? The so-called white man. Read it again. I have seen servants upon horses. Come on. And princes walking as servants upon the earth. And what? And princes, princes. walking as servants upon the earth. And you saw the princes, okay, the so-called Haitian brother on the, on the ground. So this is this is prophecy that's being fulfilled. Okay, it should be the other way around. We should be on the horse and they should be on the ground. But because we disobeyed the commandments of the Most High God, okay, we had to go through these curses. Give me Deuteronomy 20 and 15. I'm about my brother. I appreciate y'all. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Did you get a flyer? Yeah, let me get a flyer. Well, I'll give a flyer. But what's so important on your phone that, that, that is, is distracting you? What's so important? <laughs> so you got a booty <laughs> call? Is that what it is? Huh? Nah, not even, my brother. Not even. What is it? Because you've been doing a lot of smiling. Nah, 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 nah. Read that. It's my brother. This the book of Deuteronomy, to the 28, verse 15. Right? But it shall come to pass. So what? It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Come on. If thou wilt not hearken, Unto the voice of the Lord thy God, come on, to observe and to do all His commandments, which I command thee this day. Come on, but all these curses, all these what? All these curses, come on, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we see the condition what happened in the Bahamas, okay? So these are curses when you see the earthquakes, the tornadoes, the flood. Yeah, okay, that that's not Mother Nature. That that's the judgment from the Most High. That's right. But how are you going to save yourself, brother? If you are not knowing who you are, you're not observing the commandments of the Most High. Hey, but they got all the powers. But who, who's over the Most High? Do, do they have power more than the Most High? The Most High allowed them to do us, put us in captivity because of our disobedience. But that's right. that time is coming to an end. Right. The Most High is about to reverse everything. Why do you think this king, this kingdom is crumbling, brother? Yeah. The whole economic system in America is about to crumble. That is true. Look at this whole, the, co the COVID is what? A curse for the Most High. That was planned. It was planned, but what happened? Anything that, anything the white man has proposed against his people, the Most High turns around in the whole nation. Well, okay, so what are you going to do to save yourself out of this whole, this whole pandemic? Stay positive, stay out you stay positive. And stay out of everybody's way. So homosexual can say the same thing. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but what I'm saying, that term, stay positive, what does it mean to stay positive? Huh? What does it mean to stay positive? Be me, be myself, do what I do, stay in my lane, don't, you know, 
What's your lane? My, my natural right. What I feel that is right. What you upon feel is right? Upon this earth. Precept. That's what what I got? feel that is right upon this earth. Can I get that, bro? I got Give me the fly. Give me the fly. Give me the fly. Let's precept. Let's precept. Let's precept. Let's precept. What you got? I take one. I take one. Seven and verse 18. Come on. After him also they brought the six who being ready to die said, be not deceived without cause, for we suffer these things for ourselves, having sinned against our power, our God. Therefore, marvelous things are done unto us. But think not thou, that thou takest in hand to strive against God, that thou shalt escape unpunished. Yeah. Right, so all these things that America's done against the Most High, the Most High is bringing judgment upon the earth at these last days. But the only way that you're going to save yourself is to do what? To come back to your command, come back to the commandments, take back your true identity, because your lane is something that you devise and put your, yourself in, something that's not even, it's something made up, it's make-believe. Where, where did the lane come from? The only lane that you should be in is the 12 child of Israel. That's okay? Right. Your true identity. The let commandments... You, let me ask you one question. Yes, sir. So what, what is your nationality? I'm a Hebrew Israelite. That's right. right! The tribe of Levi, the son of the Most High. Bring it out! Okay, I'm a priest of the Most High. The Hebrew is, is on here too? Which I'm in the, uh... Israel is the nation, the tribe is Levi. Okay, there's 12 tribes, like the brother said, there's 12 tribes that make up the whole nation of Israel. Okay, there's one big happy family. But you gotta come back to your identity. How could you create your a lane from who? Where did that come from? What is all of this? It's the nation of Israel. You see the 12 tribes of Israel is right there. Right. I'm just saying this right here. Hebrew comes from Eber, means from the past. We are from the past. Okay, we are from the past, we hear the future. But there's so much information, we can be done in one session. We have classes, okay, every Wednesday evening, every Thursday evening, every Friday. And on Saturday, we, we're there from 11 to 3 p.m. Somebody, somebody get the brother's number. Like, and don't give me the number for McDonald's either. Give me a real number. This guy is good. Don't give me the number for McDonald's. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 or 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear what? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Come on. Fear God. Do what? Fear God. Fear the most side. Come on. And keep his commandments. And do what? And keep his commandments. And keep the commandments of the most high yeah. For this is the whole duty of man. For what? For well, this is the whole duty of man. Right, what's your name, brother? Burnus. So he said, keep the command commandments. That's the whole duty of man. Okay, that's the whole duty of man to keep his commandments. I heard a white man wrote the uh, commandments. You heard what? A white man wrote it. We hear them for what? That's what I just said. That's what they be saying. That's that's what they say, but how can how they, how can you how can you say that? Yeah, yeah. I, I want to know if you guys know. Something okay, so what's this. the white man? Okay, we gave you your true identity. What's the white man's identity according to the Bible? What if what if I was to show you that in the Bible God said He hates the white man? You can show that? That's why I can show it to you. What? Give me give me Romans. I got it. And, and you give me Genesis twenty five and twenty one. Okay. 